Hey guys, Brazos Reptiles here. Um, this video is going to be exclusively over the rat room, um, which is what you're looking at right now. It is inside of the reptile room. This reptile shed room is about 10 or 12 by 14, I think. Um, there's the ball python rack, and um, the last video shows some of shows the two females, and the next video will be exclusively on them. But anyway, this room is just nestled in the corner. There's the door to get in, and there's it. It's four by four feet by four feet by eight feet tall. Runs all the way to the ceiling, and here it is. Um, and I know, um, for ventilation and airflow, I've got this. I don't know what brand it is. I can't read that. Oh, it's upside down. Anyway, it's just a fart fan, is what we call it. They're just um, bathroom fans. They just circulate the air out. It's not on right now, just because it makes a little bit of um, a clicking noise, and I didn't want to have that in the video. But um, it just um, flows the, pushes, sucks the air out through there. There's um, a duct running through the ceiling, and then it all comes out the um, far wall of this building. It works great. It's rated for 100 and 40, 140 cubic feet, and this room is only 130. So um, that's that's 140 cubic feet a minute. So theoretically, all the air in this room is being replaced every minute, which is awesome. Um, when you walk into this this room, you cannot smell rats at all. And if you have rats, you know that there's definitely a smell to them. So um, it's working awesome. Um, here are my two racks. This one on the left is a seven bin rack, and the one on the right is an eight. The tubs that I'm using are Petmate litter pans. These are the 16 by 12 by four, and um, which is 41 by 31 by 10 centimeters, and they work awesome. Um, at first, I was worried that they were going to chew out. Like before I ordered them, I didn't know how thick they were, and I haven't had a problem with that at all. No one's even tried to, I don't think. Um, so it's working good for me. That's the tubs that are in both of these racks. Um, let's see. Um, okay, here I'll just go through the list of things. Um, let's see. Here's the female's closest to you, and the male is right there, the big one, looking at you, coming up to you. Um, he's gotten huge since he's been in with these females. Um, here's the albino, one of the albinos, which is due to have pups next in line. Here is a, gray, a black and white female who just had them. These are pups that are a few days old. I don't want to bother her. Um, and then here's one who, I'm going to make this fast, has had pups a week old. So you can see there, they're getting, getting a little hair. Um, the eyes still aren't open though. And then here's one who has had them for, okay, I just stole her. Here we go. Here's a two week old one. My hand's huge. So you can see they're, it's pretty good size. Eyes still aren't open, but it does have hair. Um, okay, just a second, let me put it back in here. Um, okay, and then, like I said, this one is due to have pups next. Um, down here I have these disgusting mice. I hate mice. They just stink, and they fight with each other, and it's, ugh, I don't like mice at all. Um, if I didn't, if my snakes would eat rats that I could buy at the store, I, they would. <laughs> they would be doing that. Um, I can't buy rats that are small enough because everything you see at the store has been weaned for quite a while, and those are too big for my guys, so uh, get in there. Um, yeah, so they have to eat mice, which right now they're not eating anything. They're on that stubborn 1100 gram eating binge thing. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, here's two smallest rats that I could buy, and they were still way too big. Um, so, yeah, there was, the snakes were scared of them. And then I just have one bin filled in this, and this is just one of my few. She is the female that was just got out of the mail. You grab her, she's really sweet. Hi, girl. Yeah, all my rats are nice, just not all of them are, I would say, you know, pet quality, I don't know. She definitely is, though. She's really nice. She'll come up to you when you open it and one out. Um, got her from the local pet store. Or, no, no, no. I got her from Petco. I got a few of these females from just a mom and pop pet store. Um, so, anyway, and if you noticed, the this stuff is empty. This bedding is pine shavings versus this stuff over um, here being this compressed paper pellets. Um, I like this pine because of the price. Um, you see this bag right here? It's Planet Petco um, paper pellet letters, is what it's called. It was 20 bucks for that bag. Um, it's a pretty big bag and it lasted this one rack of seven for I'd say a month and a half and it's still got a little left. Um, so it was 20 bucks for a month and a half. I know that seems pretty darn good but 
this right here, um, the pine wood shavings, was ten bucks for this whole thing, and I'll show you. I, this is a bag that isn't open. I already opened a bag, and I'll show you how big that is. Um, and I know in my last video I talked about not liking this brand of aspen shavings for my snakes. They were they were way too um, harsh smell to them. I just I felt like that was going to be a lot of fumes trapped in those tubs, so I went with um, the Zoomed shavings. But um, these do have a little fume to them, this pine, but not near as bad as the aspen. And since I have that um, fan that's sucking a whole bunch of air out here, you can't smell it at all. So um, not worried about that. It's going to be fine. But um, here's this tub right here. Um, I'm 6'3", 6'4", I'm tall, and it comes up above my knee. So it's a pretty big, I mean, it's not a huge trash can, but it's a big one. And a $10 bag filled it all the way. Um, here's my hand. I mean, that's... That gives you any sense of how much it was um, in those bags that you buy them in. They're really compressed, super tight. Um, and this was filled flush to the top, and then I filled that rack of eight with um, new bedding, and it took not hardly a dent out in it at all. And if I leveled this back out, you'd see, I mean, it took that much out of it. So I would say it probably costed 50 cents to fill up that rack, um, which is awesome. Um, I like it. It's cheap. It does not have a bad smell. I do keep it in that um, somewhat closed off, I know it's not airtight, but it's closed off trash can. Um, it would not fit in here, but it's fine out there. It doesn't let any of the fumes or smells out. Um, and if you'll see this rack, um, you'll notice they're kind of the staggers off. That's because this is seven and this is eight. Um, once I built this one, this is the first one, I realized I don't need all this room and I can, I don't need all the room in between and I can also put one closer down to the bottom. Um, I was just wasting a lot of space. And I know I could put some up here, but I'm saving all this room for um, my watering system. There's gonna be just the common gravity drip system and the five gallon buckets are gonna sit up here and then I'm gonna have another one over here. Um, which I'll explain this one in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, I also have this little fancy, it's not fancy at all, um, that piece of wood right there, that is just the food, if you, there's nothing in here, I was going to put that one female in here, but um, you'll see the food goes over here, and it holds quite a bit of food, it'll last these guys for quite a while, um, and then I just separated a little section for the um, water nozzle, just so that it wasn't, wasn't all together, it was easy to check and see if it was flowing good, and also kept all that, the crap, um, out of it, not the crap, the food, but the crap off the food, so anyway, um, I think this gap was like two or three inches, and then this was the rest of the deal, the length. And from here to here is 11 inches, and then you have these added, and then these 2x4s added. Um, this, these frames, everything in the frame is built out of 2x4, um, split in half, so it's 2x2. Two two. And then the four legs on each side are built out of, second, I got a splinter, are built out of 2x4s, two by, um, two by yeah. So these are 2x4s. And then everything else in between is 2x2, two two, which is a 2x4 split down the middle, um, which is what we did. Did that with our table saw, um, just to save on money. Um, okay, another question for any of you breeders out there. Um, are you pro or against dog food? Um, I haven't read any literature, heard anything that was a big enough indicator to say, hey, get away from dog food. Um, if you can get me something though, I would definitely consider it. Um, I'll be going to the Arlington NARBC here in a month or so, and um, I know um, Missouri will be vending there, so I can definitely get some lab block if um, I need it. And that would probably be the only place in time I can get it, unless I can find a local um, wholesale person, but that's not likely, which is where I live. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, if you can give me a good enough reason that you don't like dog food, I'll definitely consider getting away from it. Um, but it is very cheap. This dog, this brand, um, this is just Purina Large Breed. I got Large Breed just so the food was big enough that it didn't fall through. Um, I've got about a quarter of a bag left. The whole bag was 15 bucks, and that was two months ago. Um, so, I mean, you can tell. And that was feeding a whole rack of rats. Um, you can tell it's not very expensive at all, and there's still a whole bunch in their deal. So, I mean, that's not even what's been eaten. So, um... Yeah, very cheap to feed, not bad at all. Only cost, so f I mean, the the cost is initial cost. You know, building the racks, ordering the tubs, blah, blah, blah. Um, tubs for this rack alone, I think, were like 60 bucks. So, you know, the, I mean, the initial cost is kind of a punch to the gut, but um, definitely well worth it in the long run when it comes to 
breeding versus buying rats every week. Rats or mice. Um, because I was spending 32, let me see. Yeah, I was spending 32 to 40 dollars a week on mice whenever they were eating. They're on that 1100 gram binge right now, so they're not eating. They haven't eaten for about a month, both of them. But um, yeah, I was spending 32 to 40 bucks a week. That's close to 200 a month, guys. That's crazy um, and ridiculous. That shouldn't be happening. So yeah, and that's where these guys come into play. I haven't spent $200 collectively with these two racks, filling them with the rats and everything else in between. I mean, you know, I mean, if that just shows. Um, how much of a saving saver this kind of stuff is. So, um, you know, some people are like, well, uh, the trouble you go through doing that, well, the trouble's worth it when it's breeding rats or spending 200 a month on food for your snakes. Um, and you definitely want them to have food. So, yeah. Um, okay, and I'll explain the stagger. If you notice, there's different stages of rat pups. Um, I breed the females once a week um, just because I'm in no high demand for a bunch of rat pups. I only have two females right now. Um... So I don't need five females popping out pups a week. Um, there's just no need for that. So like this female, I just put her in today. I'll pull her out in a week and I'll throw another female in there. This female has just been out. She was in there in a week. So she should have pups in roughly three to four weeks. No, no, I pulled this one two weeks ago. So two to three weeks. And then this one that has the big guy right there, that is a two week old. And then this litter of 10, they are one week old, and then this litter of four are a few days old. So, I mean, you can see my stagger is weekly, which is perfect. That's how I wanted it, and it worked out great. i um, hoping to keep that up. And in this little void space over here, I'm going to fit a small rack. I know it's not big. There's the size of my hand. I have a huge hand. Um, and so, yeah, I can... Anyway, um, there's about a nine-inch gap here, and I'm going to put a rack in there. Of, I don't remember if it's, I think it's Vision. Vision or Freedom Breed, I think it's Vision. Vision or Freedom Breeder has a line of um, ball python hatchling racks, um, rack tubs, and they're five inches wide, three inches tall, and um, 18 inches, or four inches tall, I think. No, three inches, and 18 inches deep. Um, so they're a little deeper, no, no, no. Yeah, they're two inches deeper than these, but they're cut quite a bit, they're about that big. And, um, that is going to be for my ASFs, or African softwares. I haven't got them yet. I'm set up with a guy to meet at the Arlington show um, in August, and I'm going to pick some up from him and get um, a colony started of those. Um, they're going to go right here, and this is half-inch mesh in this rack. I wasn't thinking about the ASFs when I built it. Um, so, I, and I've heard that African software pups can crawl out of half-inch. If you have any experience with that, let me know. Um, so I know what to build this rack out of. If they can, then I'll definitely do this out of quarter. But if not, then I'll do everything out of half, to, just to keep it simple. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be breeding in here, and then I'm not going to try and cram any more than one female per tub over here in this smaller rack. Um, so she'll have her pups over there, and once they get big enough where they can't crawl out of the um, quarter inch, um, I mean half inch, I'll move them over here to the half inch where they have a little more room. And I know, and I did the math, and I can fit 14 tubs going up and down this height to the floor. Um, so that'll definitely be a good um, space saver there. But yeah, um, African softwares. If you have any experience with that, um, shout at me, and I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm go I plan on feeding the ASFs to my permanent collection. You know, like my breeders and all that, just to get them eating really well. And um, anything that is possible up for sale or might be sold, I'm gonna feed. Oops, sorry, rats and or mice, um, just because once they're on African softwares, I've heard that it's near impossible to get them off. And I've also heard that the ASFs will get them off that 1100 gram feeding binge, whatever you call it. Um, so if you have heard or experienced that, let me know if that works. Um, so I think that's it, guys. Um, here, I don't know, I think I already showed you this. Yeah, I did. Maybe not, I don't remember. Um, there's the label. Um, and I'm going to be get, putting a watering system in these, ordering it from agselect.com. Um, I think I'm going to be about 50 bucks per unit, which I know, is, I mean, it, it's a kind of pri it's not pricey. It's very reasonable when you consider each one of these suckers are like four or five dollars. So I mean, heck, there's 35 bucks just in bottles, um, and this one's going to be 40 bucks. So I mean, it's 10 bucks more to get a watering system that will last you. I'm not sure how long it lasts. I've never done it. So, anyway. 
Um, <laughs> I think I've covered everything. Showed you everybody um, how I do things. Any comments, suggestions, just want to say hey, holler at me. Love to hear from you. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, things are going good here. Anyway, there it is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and be on the lookout for new videos. Thanks, guys, and shout out to you later.